Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie, if you are new here. I do all kinds of lifestyle vlogs, motherhood vlogs, but I also talk about personal finance here on the channel. So my husband and I have been living with debt for quite a few years now. We are in a much better place than we used to be, but we started out this journey when we got married like six years ago. We had a ton of health debt, a ton of just student loan debt, all that kind of stuff. And we got into a really bad spot. My husband at the time was working for himself and his business just wasn't profitable. And then I was working a job and trying to hold the family down, him and I, and I wasn't getting paid enough. Fast forward to we got to a point where we both were working for ourselves. Ben was literally driving Uber Eats trying to make things work. And eventually we got to the point where Benjamin decided to go back to work. So he uh, used to have a coaching business. He was also a personal trainer. And then with like COVID and we moved, all that kind of changed. So now he's back doing what he used to do. So he went to college for data science computer science, <laughs> something like that. Worked in that field for a little bit and then went into personal training, had a very profitable business, went into life coaching, had a pretty profitable business, but then 2020 hit, all that stuff kind of went to crap. So now he's back working um, as a data engineer and he makes a good salary, which you'll see if you watch our budgets. And then I work for myself, but my main focus is being a stay at home mom, which I never would have been able to do had Ben not become this like huge provider for our family. Very grateful for Ben. He has changed our lives in the last few years. I have also, but we're just in such a good place and I'm so proud of him for what he's been doing. So that was like a little tangent about where we've been. If you look at our budget right now, I'm going to do it in April budget with me. So I do usually two to three finance videos a month. So in this one, I show you what I'm projecting April to look like. So this is the budget I put together. We're not super strict with it like we used to be because we're lucky enough to have more wiggle room than we used to, but we used to be very, very strict with our budget. Right now, our focus is on savings, although we did make a big, big, big hit on our savings in March, which is crazy. So I'll talk about that in our March budget, but we are still kind of focusing on savings for now. And then I think at the end of the year, if we have additional savings, we might throw that at one of our student loan debts. I'm getting way off topic, but today I'm gonna show you my April budget, show you what we are getting up to in April, what I'm planning on. Some of these things will probably change. It's only April, or it's March 21st as I film this. So there's a cup there's still a week where things could change. Um, we have a couple of medical things that are coming up that may not be fully covered by insurance for me. So there's just like a lot going on. But I'm gonna show you my April budget. I will say I recently had someone say that they wanted me to like zoom in on my videos. So I will try to do that because I know some of you watch on your phone. Let's see if I can figure that out, but let's jump into it. Okay, I don't know if this will be any more zoomed in. Maybe I can try to fix it in editing. So we'll see what it looks like, but this is my budget for April. I always black out our incomes. You can see our overall income and like this may change, but it's just for comfortability for my husband to have his exact income blocked out. Um, ben actually got a raise. He also got a bonus in March, which I'll tell you about in our March budget recap at the end of the month, but he did get a raise. So his income might be a little bit different, but I don't know what it is. So right now I'm just budgeting his current income. And then when I see what it plays out to be in April, we'll look at that and like update our budgets moving forward. My income is actually going to be fairly high next month, which is why we're having a $10,000 a month. I'm expecting to kind of make the top of what I normally, or what I, kind of what I can make right now with my blogging client. I currently only have one freelance client. Um, so I'm planning, assuming that I'm going to be making a full month of invoices. So we'll see, but that's what I budgeted for at this time. And then our current payout from the, um, business that Ben used to be a part of. We don't currently plan on having any monthly rollover. We'll see though. And I'm also not expecting any gifts or extra income or anything. Over here, a couple things I know are coming up. April, I'm, I'll am i talk about it in a second, but I think I'm gonna sign up for a Pilates studio. We'll see. 
May is Elizabeth's birthday, which is my sister-in-law, and May is also Mother's Day. So I'm just leaving little notes for myself for when I do my May budget that there are things coming up in May that we need to pay for. So planning to have a $10,150, no, $10,150 income this month, which is great. I remember making budgets. In fact, I could probably find an old budget of like when we lived in Wheaton and we were barely getting by on like $3,000 a month, maybe even if that, I don't know. And no, it had to be a little bit more than 3,000 because our rent was 2,200. So probably not much more than 3,000 though. And um, we would make like mock budgets of like what it would look like if we made $10,000 a month. And now to like see that number is just crazy. Also, if you can hear my water's running, I don't know why it does this. Anyway, moving on, fixed expenses. These are all fairly the same. Our rent is the same. All of these are the same. The only thing I put in a guesstimate of possibly signing up for a Pilates studio because we have the income next month. I'm still, I need to talk to Ben about the, well, I did talk to Ben about it and he's totally fine with it. I just need to decide if that's what I'm gonna do. I have a couple of like health things going on right now and I'm trying not to be pessimistic or anything, but if I have to get like a ton of health stuff done, I don't know, like I just don't wanna pay for a Pilates membership and then not be able to use it, whether it's because my anxiety is high or um, like physically I'm not feeling well. So I just need to decide that, but I need to actually decide it soon because apparently their prices are going up as of April 1st, so I would need to start before that. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, and the rest of this stuff is normal. Moving on to my business expenses, which is a part of our fixed expenses currently. These are all the same. Um, I did sign up for YouTube Premium because I watch a lot of YouTube. That's pretty much the only thing that I watch. Sometimes Ben and I'll watch like Netflix or something like that, but I'm a YouTube girly. So yeah, I <laughs> am paying for YouTube premium. I signed up for it and it's like quite honestly the best thing I've ever signed up for. So it is a little bit pricey, but I am grateful for not having to watch ads and being able to like watch all of my old content without ads and all that stuff. Like, but it still pays creators. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, the rest of these are normal. So planning on about $3,200 coming out in fixed expenses. Moving on to our debt. We are currently not paying any extra on our debt. Like I said, some people will pay like a little bit extra every month. And we decided that for now, we're just going to keep building up our savings account. And then if we get to a point where, I don't know, we feel like we have a good chunk in our savings where we can at the end of the year, or if we get like a big payment for something, we can take nine grand and knock out one of our student loans, we will, but all of our student loans are fairly low interest besides my, of course, biggest one, uh, this one. And they're fairly, fairly low payment. So it's not something that we like can't pay for right now, but it is something that like later on we might wipe one out versus like paying a little bit extra toward it every month if that makes sense just so we have the money in our savings um i feel like after years of like being in situations where emergencies came up and we didn't have emergency funds we're trying to like build that up as much as possible we would love to buy a house someday i would love to have another kid if we have any more like health stuff pop up we just want to have some money set aside so that's about $988 of debt. Then moving on to variable expenses. I did up our grocery budget to $1,000. Now with Ivy, I, we're just spending a lot on groceries, quite honestly, and I'm tired of being over budget every single month. So I did up that one. Costco, I have 300. I still have 200 for restaurants and takeout. 200 for medications and supplements. Household is at 700, I don't, yeah. Beauty is at 150. This is one that's like kind of up in the air because it really, I'm keeping it at 150 because we have the budget even though we haven't been hitting it because I'm not planning on getting my hair cut. I'm not planning on getting my nails done but I might change my mind on that because I like having my nails done. But I'm trying to give them a little bit of a break right now because they're breaking. 
Um, personal spending, I have a, at 100. I'm thinking in May that I will up that so that we can buy some clothes for spring and summer, but we'll see. Doctors, I did up to 400 because I am getting a biopsy of my cervix done at the end of March, and I'm assuming that our insurance isn't gonna fully cover it. They didn't cover my breast biopsy that I had to have done last year fully. They covered most of it, but a couple hundred dollars of it they didn't. So I'm just budgeting a little bit high in case um, I need to pay a little bit extra. I also went and saw a GI doctor and they wanna do an endoscopy in July. So I have a while for that. Um, but she wants me to get like a CT scan and a couple other tests done for my stomach issues. So that might also come out of this budget. So we'll see. Utilities, I have at 250 car. I have at 100, Core and Fin at 200, and Miscellaneous at 100. So this is fairly typical right here. So I have about $3,700 coming out in variable expenses. And then moving on down here, April is Ben's dad's birthday, but I don't think we're gonna get him a gift. Um, <laughs> I think that maybe like we'll buy him lunch one day or something like that. So I'll just keep that in like our restaurants. I have us, I keep this in pink because this is like a maybe thing. I have us possibly putting $1,000 into savings next month because we have the space for it. So we'll see unless we like decide to um, do any other spending next month, something comes up that I'm not thinking of. I'm gonna put $840 away for taxes and then our Thrive Market uh, yearly subscription renews. So that is $59.95 for the year. So planning to put about $1,900 away, most of that being in savings, a little bit of that for a subscription. So planning to spend about, spend about $9,810 of that $10,000 income. But as you can see, like 1,800 of that is savings. And then I did leave a little bit extra over in this month in case, like, just so we can see, cause I keep being like, am I missing something? Like, why do we have such a big income this month? But it's because my income is higher. So in case it doesn't end up being higher, like in case, like for example, I have a, um, I have a biopsy next week. So if, you know, that takes me out of commission for work for a couple days, like if I'm not feeling well, then, I can just lower my income and then um, there'll still be room and it won't like mess with our actual budget. I can change it from here or from our savings, if that makes sense. So this is a good look at our April budget. It looks really good. I'm really grateful for where we're at monetarily right now. Like I said, we've had some really, really tough times in our life and I feel like we're in a really good spot right now and I'm trying not to let my anxiety like run with that because I feel like if you've ever been in debt or had like health issues or something sometimes it feels like when things are good you're just like waiting for the shoe to drop you know and I don't want to have that mindset anymore so instead I'm just being grateful for where we are and you know continuing to hope that it stays this way and this is why we're putting money into savings. So if something does come up, it doesn't totally rattle us to the ground. You know what I mean? But that is a look at our April budget. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, stay tuned for the March budget recap because I'll kind of give, a, give an update on our um, savings because our savings is in a really good spot based on some stuff, some money that we came in, that came in in March, um, and we're feeling really, really good and excited about where our savings is. So that video will be out in early April, but otherwise, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.